Hi friends, New Energy Concepts Group. What we're doing today is a uh, little mix of the uh, Ebner effect experiment uh, and uh, cellular dedifferentiation being triggered by <coughs> DC currents, which was Dr. Robert Becker's uh, research where he discovered that cellular regeneration could be triggered uh, with electricity. He wrote a book called The Electric Body and uh, was a proponent of keeping electromagnetic energy uh, away from uh, people. <clears throat> but from the Ebner experiment and Dr. Becker's experiment, uh, we've been able to discover that electricity can indeed uh, trigger and uh, interact with biology uh, in certain instances. <clears throat> so, what we have here is uh, the electrical setup that we're going to be using for the experiment. We have our variac. This is going to be uh, adjust our input power to our transformer. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, switching with the semiconductor and um, <clears throat> storing the switched energy in this capacitor. Additionally, we have our output from the capacitor, our positive and negative. Uh, see our red and our black here. That's going down over to our, <clears throat> our little sterile cabinet here. and our plant cell cultures. So this is a variation using uh, stem cell cultures and cloning. Uh, we'll be using uh, a one with a solution, the micro-clone micro solution, which is there. Focus in on it. The light is kind of weird. Microclone. And our whole kit there that we did, so um, and I'll post a link to uh, this little clone kit as well. Um, so we have one with the plates. You can see the the copper plates there. Let me turn off the <coughs> light for a second. Yeah, the copper plates. Then we have our cutting, which is a bell pepper cutting. And then one with no solution, just sitting in the same electrostatic charge tray. I just want to see what it does. And then one with solution uh, that um, is uh, just solution, no, no plates. So one with plates, one without plates and solution, one with just solution. So we're going to see... Uh, so we have different variables just to kind of see what the plant does at di in different environments. So, um, and this will be repeated a few times uh, to get all the data. <clears throat> so, close it up here, and um, we'll turn our light on. This is just a LED grow light. It's got all the spectrum the plants need, and it's just going right through the side there. To there. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn our variac down, really down, and we're going to turn it up. And we'll turn it up just a little bit because we just want a little bit of. energy going. Okay, we'll check our meter here. Amp. Okay, so we're using a tenth of an amp. Nine watts. Tenth of an amp, nine watts. Okay, that's nine watts. Um, and we're using hardly any volts. 
It's a very little, little tiny amount of energy, but as you can see, we're actually quite a bit of that energy. Now, let's go back and look at our setup and everything looks fine. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. See those plates are charged now. So the charge is applied. And if you see